Jamie, you can tell Manuel Ellis is a loved man and father as this memorial just continues to grow here at the intersection of 96 and Ainsworth. He's known in the community as Manny as so many people leave cards, signs, roses, candles, all of these things here to pay their respects to him. Now, during a news conference earlier today with his family, we heard raw, chilling emotion from his mother who spoke to him on the phone the same night he died here. Well, remember, I love you. Those were the last words that I heard my son say to me. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. And I can't hear that. Ever again. Words of endearment, Marcia Carter says she would give anything to hear from her son again rather than this. I can't breathe. Those are the last words ever spoken from Manny Ellis. It was recorded from a police radio moments before he died while in Tacoma police custody in March. Now, three months later, medical examiners deem his death a homicide. The Ellis family attorney says without that recording, the 33-year-old's death could have been left unknown. Now it is up to the people to force that level of accountability on police departments in Pierce County, on police departments in Tacoma, because we need justice, not just in some places, we need justice everywhere. The Pierce County Sheriff's Office is the investigating agency on this case. County detectives say officers handcuffed Ellis and restrained him on the ground. He told officers he had trouble breathing and paramedics were called, but minutes later he died. Detectives say the only video of that fateful night is from a home security camera, but doesn't clearly show what happened. Since then, his family's unwavering dedication is shedding new light on his death. If it wasn't for me and Manny's friend, screaming at the top of our lungs and George Floyd dying, this would have got brushed under the rug. Medical examiners also found Ellis had an existing heart condition. It was determined he died after going into respiratory arrest due to being restrained. I'm sorry. Our city is sorry. Our council is sorry for your loss. During an emotional address to the public, Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodard says city leaders did not receive many facts about this case, but says they are going to dig deep for answers. Ellis's sister says she finds it hard to believe the city wasn't aware after all this time. And every elected official, if we find out that you knew, you should be replaced immediately. We can't have people like you representing us. His family says this is only the beginning of their fight towards justice, but right now, Carter is just longing to hear her son once more. As a mother, you can never imagine what it's like to bury your son, to look down in his eyes. My heart hurt. I cried for two months and 10 days. Every day, all day. Ellis leaves behind an 18 month old daughter, and his brother was also standing with family today. Their attorney says they're calling on the Washington State Attorney General's office to open up a new case and look into this. They're also asking witnesses to speak up, step forward, especially if you have pictures or video that can help in this case. Reporting live in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.